Leaders have also come together to support the DMK after the governor's decision. But let's also talk about another big story. Amid the mega one nation, one law debate, the parliamentary panel has called for a key meeting on the uniform civil court. The parliamentary panel has summoned the law commission as well for a meeting that will be taking place on July 3rd. Uh, so, Niamika, uh, this is, of course, a big decision that has come in. Remember, ahead of 2024, a lot of debate over UCC. And now we have the parliamentary panel as well calling for a key meeting. That's right, as uh, we have also seen uh, that uh, the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Personal Public Grievance and Law and Justice is going to convene a meeting on Uniform Civil Court to hear the uh, views and the uh, viewpoints of the stakeholders as the BJP's Rajya Sabha MP Sushil Modi uh, uh, led committee has informed that all the uh, all the three committee uh, all the three MPs are being uh, uh, called to express their viewpoints uh, 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 regarding the Uniform Civil Court as this meeting is going to take place on July 3rd as uh, uh, we have seen uh, that various parties have uh, come out in open and uh, spoken about the Uniform Civil Court. However, uh, there is no official stand which is being taken on the part uh, of Congress party as of now. But today, uh, the Congress party's uh, MP Manish Tiwari has uh, has uh, reacted over this entire matter. And yes, he has in also fact, let's play out that uh, reaction because he has spoken about this and he says that as parliamentary panel has called for this meeting, he has questioned the timing of it, asking if UCC was even on the list of subjects. Listen into this reaction. Uh, continuously making statements regarding the uniform civil code as uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also spoken about this entire matter. Uh, now it is being stated uh, that uh, a parliamentary standing committee meeting is also going to be uh, discussed about this entire matter. What is your reaction? <clears throat> when a parliamentary standing committee is constituted in the September of every year, the first thing the parliamentary standing committee does that it decides its agenda for the whole year. Mr. Sushil Modi, who is the chairperson, of the standing committee and as a senior leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party should first tell the country that was the uniform civil code on the original agenda of the parliamentary standing committee of law and justice or is the parliamentary standing committee being used in order to further the political agenda of the ruling dispensation. Number two, the directive principles of state policy article 44 are aspirational in nature. They are not mandatory. The diversity of India is the strength and the essence of this country. I represent a constituency where the Sikh faith or the Khalsa Panth was consecrated by Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. I would like to ask the government if there is going to be a uniform civil court, what is going to be the status of the Anand Marriage Act? The entire Sikh community is up in arms against the uniform civil court. Within the Hindu faith itself, there are a myriad ways in which uh, marriage, inheritance, succession are decided. And in any case, there is a complete self-contained uniform civil code in the Indian uh, legal system itself. And that is the Special Marriages Act and the Indian Succession Act. So where is the need for, uh, for, a, uh, for a uniform civil code? This is nothing but a dog whistle. It, it is an attempt to you know, accentuate and exacerbate the otherness of the other. It's only uh, there to serve the agenda of polarization. It is not going to serve the purpose of India's national security because your biggest uh, national security is your social cohesion. Uh, sir, but on the other hand, Aam Aadmi Party has uh, stated uh, that uh, they are in support, in principle support uh, to UCC, but uh, uh, they have also mentioned that consultation should be done with all the stakeholders. Don't you think that it is going to affect the opposition unity as well because uh, uh, the Aam Aadmi Party has taken a stand over uh, uniform civil code now? Well, uh, the Aam Aadmi Party then first should consult the people of Punjab. They are ruling in Punjab or they have a government in Punjab. They should ask substantive sections of the Sikh community or the entire Sikh community whether they support the, uh, the, the Uniform Civil Code or not. You see, unfortunately, when you have people in the Council of States who are not rooted in the ethos of that particular state and who do not understand the social milieu, uh, they perhaps end up making statements which do not reflect either the sentiment, the sense 
or for that matter even the uh, the the, the uh, fundamental character of that state my last question sir how do you see the u turn which is being taken on the part of the tamil nadu governor earlier he had uh, stated that he had dismissed uh, senethal balaji from uh, the position of a minister and uh, now he has taken a u turn i thought that was going to be your first question but uh, be that as it may uh, the governor uh, the president of india should sack the governor so this was manish tiwari's charge niyamika uh, the congress leader has of course questioned the parliamentary panel as well saying is it doing a political agenda questioning if ucc was even in mentioned in the list of matters to discuss Well, that's right. As uh, Manish Tiwari has also tweeted regarding this entire matter, and he has just now spoken to Times now exclusively, and he has mentioned uh, that uh, uh, the entire agenda for uh, the parliamentary standing committee is being decided uh, for the entire year. But uh, there was no mention about the Uniform Civil Code earlier. As uh, uh, he has also questioned the uh, motive behind this, as he has uh, stated that whether it is being used to take forward the political agenda of the ruling dispensation, as uh, it's. Uh, if uh, it is going to be implemented if uh, the uniform civil code is going to be implemented then what is going to be about the anand marriage act as he has given an example as uh, apart from that he has also mentioned that there is a need of the uh, of implementation of uniform civil code as uh, he has called it nothing but just a dog whistle as uh, uh, manish tiwari has also attacked uh, uh, the aam aadmi party as uh, he mentioned that uh, uh, when uh, these uh, when the people from uh, 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 unfortunately those people who in the council of the state who do not uh, rooted from that particular state such kind of uh, uh, statements are coming on, only in such kind of case so uh, for that matter he is completely opposing uh, this this decision of uh, calling out the parliamentary standing committee meeting to discuss about the uniform civil code as he has mentioned uh, that earlier uh, there was no mention about this agenda as uh, uh, just now they have uh, stated and called uh, this meeting to know about the viewpoints of oh, they have uh, stated and called uh, this meeting to know about the viewpoints of the stakeholders as Okay all right uh, Niyamika thank you for joining us with those details a lot of reactions also expected